Greetings, everyone, dear ones. Um, so this morning I got a really powerful download. And every morning I have been um, communicating with the, um, you can see very well. I've been communicating with the Guardian Alliance, which is in accord with the cosmic law of one. And what I have gleaned from them is the process that we are in now uh, is profoundly um, riveting in terms of the ascension itself. So we are in the event, okay? And we all know this. So what's happening is what's playing out on the world stage is that there is a pushback happening from the deep state, the cabal, the, the darker forces, the shadow government, whatever you wanna call it, those that have been in control of this world for a very long time, for thousands of years, this didn't just start, this has been going on for a really long time. There have been endless wars. There have been, you know, control concepts of depopulation for thousands of years. This has been going on since before the Roman times even. Um, so this has happened in the Roman Empire, the Greek Empire, the Mayans, the Aztecs. There's many civilizations, the Egyptians. There's been many civilizations on the planet, Atlantis, Lemuria, um, that have many civilizations have fallen around this very specific thing where they, it rises up. We get to a certain place of height of frequency. And then they take control. They try to take control of it and control the narrative. And, and they participated in the height of the frequency. So both parties, the dark and the light in this reality, in this realm that we're living in, there's a polarity dualistic framework of of reality so we have dark and light the the thing is is it's we we need to be willing to embrace the darkness and the shadow and and find balance between those two polarities and those two realities in order for this to balance itself out and the charges to balance so that we come to a place of stasis if you will of, of calm of of balance. So what I got this morning was very specific in terms of what I was being asked to share, um, which is uh, an anchoring of the light. So anyone who has been in ceremony with me, some, uh, most of you will know, um, maybe not this particular anchoring of the light meditation, but you will know how to do that. And those of you ha that haven't been in ceremony with me have your own way of doing this. Um, so everyone has a way of anchoring their own light. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share a meditation with you that I feel is being asked of me right now in this moment um, for this particular time. And from what I understand, the, the hard pushback is what I'm going to call it, uh, will continue now uh, for the next two weeks at least, probably longer. They probably won't stop, but the, the extreme pushback for the next two weeks until May 1st, till Beltane. And we will be witnessing things on this planet that have never happened before. And they have lost their footing. They have deeply lost their footing and they are scrambling, which they've already been doing for a couple of years now. 
but now it's it's in the mainstream media is now the narrative in the mainstream media is now shifting um which was something that we've all been waiting for and it's now happening so that's going to change millions of people's lives that is going to wake millions of people up and the awareness that that brings alone let alone when the real information is revealed as to what is really happening in terms of the deep state and the shadow government and the dark forces and the secret societies being taken down come out into the mainstream consciousness the amount of grief that we will experience as a collective the amount of shock the amount of fear the amount of anger and also the level of death whether it be from a virus or not, um, there will be a lot of death this year. A lot of dying off of old, older population, um, a vulnerable population. Uh, there will be more deaths this year probably than any other year that we've experienced so far. Um, in the natural order of things of life and death and how it works. So this is stuff I've been getting for a long time um, and have been hesitant to share because everything was fine and we were all cruising along. But I've known about this for a long time. And then I was, I was reminded of it this morning and of what could potentially support the anchoring of light on the planet as a collective. So I'm sort of putting out a call to action to focus our attention on anchoring the light as much as humanly possible while staying informed uh, with the anchoring of our own light, but also being a conduit between heaven and earth is what I'm just gonna call it, between source and earth, right? Between her um, crystalline core matrix and uh, the great central sun or the galactic core of this particular galaxy and then beyond that to the cosmic heart um, where the golden ocean of light and all the source seeds reside. So that cosmic sun and the earth uh, crystalline core are connecting right now. There's tons of gamma rays and light being deposited onto the planet. There's openings in the ozone layers. There's holes in the ozone layers. The sun is off putting a bunch of um, coronal mass ejections here and there in the last couple of years. I don't know what's happening right now, but the Schumann resonance of the earth is also spiking on a very consistent basis now. So all of these things are really important to understand because it's not just about um, Earth. It's actually about the whole system. And the whole system is benefiting from these cosmic gamma rays. However, the Earth and the density of, of where the Earth has been in terms of the density frequencies um, that and the the cloak over us, the lockdown grid that's been over us in terms of our consciousness, that is now lifting. And so a lot of people are having the opportunity to receive that level of light. However, um, yeah, most people won't have the same reference point for that as those of us who have been in this process for a while. Um, and so they're going to need support, <laughs> a lot of support. So anyone that can share this anchoring of light meditation in person with someone or, you know, even just guiding people or helping them who are waking up, we need to offer our support to those people who are freaking out 
and going crazy and and help them redirect their focus into receiving light um, and then releasing the densities and the fear and the, that matrix out of their field and, and having them focus their attention on the light coming in, not denying any of that information from the, the, the world stage, but more that they just take some time to take care of themselves and to, to anchor the light. Right. So, so that they're giving themselves the opportunity to step out of that construct and that control matrix a little bit and to expand out and to receive the energies. Okay. That are here right now, you know, I also suggest not using the words coronavirus, COVID-19, any of those. Um, they all carry with them mind control constructs that are very dangerous and can keep people locked into that grid. And so I suggest that you reference it in a different way, like pandemic, you could say pandemonium, you know, just use a different word, CV, for example, rather than uh, imprinting that those words back in to the collective, but just release that framework from your consciousness and to also, uh, if you're gonna re reference it, reference it in a way that you're not speaking to it directly so that it doesn't hook into and anchor into that um, psychological framework within the mass collective. Because that alone brings fear and that alone brings worry and stress. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention that I feel is really important is the aspect of the fear of death uh, through the survival mechanisms. So that whole survival programming is actually coming up to be released right now. Um, it's causing people massive panic and fear and that we're gonna have a like, you know, we could have massive civil unrest if we don't switch this around, if we don't actually take some action right now around this. Um, and we don't really wanna see that, it's not necessary. Um, there will be some level of recovery from what's already happened. It's very, very awful in that regard, but at the same time, if we remain and keep our focus in the solution, then, and not go back to the old way of being, if we like focus our attention on where we're going, rather than where we've been and going back to what that was, then we will be okay. But if we go back to the way things were and fall back asleep, which I don't think is possible at this point, but it'll be a much, longer process than if we are to focus now on where we're going. So, you know, we've all been saturated with this information now. We're pretty clear on what's going on. We're pretty clear that there's all these different levels, right? Um, and there are many people that still aren't questioning the narrative. So those of us, us that have questioned the narrative that are respectful of the fact that there is something going on and at the same time that something isn't right, we need to be focusing on the light and bringing that energy in and taking self-care and taking time off the internet and focusing on the natural world and the earth, right? The earth frequencies that are happening right now, which are astounding and beautiful and amazing and oh my god the light is incredible and the fact that we have clear skies well not today but most days now we're having clear skies and so receiving all that goodness the natural goodness that's coming from the cosmos right now i've spoken for 16 minutes let me get to work here <laughs> okay so I invite you all to take a moment
Take a deep breath into your belly. And exhaling out all that excess energy. Three breaths. Ha. Letting all that energy go. And coming back into center. And finding the natural rhythm of your breath. As you find that natural rhythm, breathe into your heart in the center of stillness within your energetic matrix. Releasing any densities or grips or controlling energies around your sphere. Just release it into the light. And if you feel moved to, to cast a circle clockwise of white light around your energy sphere three times clockwise, Let those densities go. <sighs> Find your breath. <sighs> Releasing all those energies that you may have absorbed from virtual reality from the mass consciousness, just let it all go. Find your center. Mm. And then taking a moment to tone with me in your own tone frequency. Anything that is not in accordance with the cosmic sovereign law of one is not welcome in my space. You must leave now. You're welcome to repeat that. Anything that is not in accordance with the cosmic sovereign law of one is not welcome in my space. You must leave now. As I come into harmonic resonance with my divine light frequency, my source light energy, oh, 
I anchor down into the cosmic heart of Gaia. Spiraling downwards into the crystalline core, into Gaia's cosmic heart. And I allow her golden violet rays, cosmic sacred love, and her cosmic sacred fire to come up through my crystalline cord. Coming up through my central column, up into my cosmic heart. Allowing my cosmic heart to expand through my exhales into my energetic matrix. And then going up through my rainbow sphere, up through the rainbow bridge of light up into the cosmic heart of God, goddess, all that is. Through the cosmic great central sun, through our galactic core, reaching and extending out through our galactic core into the cosmic core of our universe. And into the cosmic heart in the multiverse. Anchoring in with our source seed in the cosmic ocean of light. And as we anchor in, we find our source seed and we connect there with our soul spark our monadic source seed. We allow our source seed to then venture down through our rainbow bridge along that journey. in through our crown, into our central heart, the central fire inside of us. Anchoring there and grounding expanding from our central fire within our heart. And then exhaling out past our central sphere, blowing Gaia into the magnetic light grid of the earth. allowing that rainbow sphere around Gaia to strengthen while keeping our conduit between the cosmic ocean of light and Gaia's central crystalline core strong through our central columns grounded here on Gaia. Keeping our soul sphere around our bodies, our energetic spheres surrounded in a rainbow sphere of light, a blending cloak. And whenever we feel that we need a little extra protection for our own personal nervous system, we can ask for an iridium shield. around our rainbow sphere 
and then a rainbow sphere around the iridium shield. So sandwiching rainbow light around the iridium sphere, iridium shield. And just remember this is like a fortress that you are in. And when you want to receive abundance, prosperity coming to you from outside of yourself rather than source it all comes from source but when you want to receive more energy in relation to abundance and grace you can soften the iridium shield just a bit if you need that strong protection and you want to stay and remain within a fortress of light you can use the Iridium Shield. It is incredibly strong. I shield my house with it when I sleep, along with a rainbow around it. I light up my house with rainbow light, house of light. So all the walls and the floors and the inside of the walls and doors and the windows, all rainbow light. Remember to put your computers and your electronic devices in shieldings of rainbow light and violet flame containing those energies within the electronic devices so that it's not as penetrating to your energetic body and your nervous system. Our electronic devices also act as portals. And so it is very important to protect ourselves from these portals that open within the virtual realms so as to not absorb these densities and frequencies into our field, which then allows us to be objective in our perspective. It also allows us to observe from a place of centeredness and groundness and potentially being emotionally affected, however, not being bombarded energetically by these frequencies so that we can assimilate them more gently and stay steady while remaining focusing on our light. And remember, we are anchoring the light for the collective of humanity and for Gaia and for all the beings here on Earth but also cosmically, our matrix is affecting the whole. We are just but a drop in the ocean of the cosmos. And so as we are being affected here on this planet, so is all of the cosmic matrix. And so therefore making it very prominent so as we anchor this light we can also mirror back those energies coming from without, from outside of us, can reflect back to those energies that may be electronically beaming us or chemtrails. We can put up a reflective mirror if necessary outside of our rainbow sphere 
so that it reflects back to them. Bounces off. We can also create an invisibility cloak. We have an invisibility gossamer shield around the rainbow. So if you find that the rainbow is not enough for you, then try your hand at your own magic in terms of your invisibility cloak. See what you have in terms of your own magic, your own wisdom. It should be there. This will deter the monitors of frequency that are constantly scanning the earth through satellite technology. And will make it easier for you to function. We'll calm things down a bit. Maybe experiment with those invisibility cloaks to find the densities and frequencies and the layers and the thickness and the, and the viscosity of those invisibility cloaks to measure and feel into what feels good for you. And when you are doing self-healing, I highly recommend invisibility cloaks so that you can have space to heal, to cry, to be protected in the womb of the Cosmic Mother, to feel her love for you. It's very gentle and loving. And then when you want to brighten it up and you want to shine really bright, just remember, because your light has a gold frequency to it, golden, platinum, diamond light of source, your own source light that comes from the cosmic ocean of light. Just remember to wrap yourself in rainbow liquid plasma light. Send in a little bit so that the darker frequencies and the shadows are not paying attention as much to you like bugs to a light bulb. It allows you to operate more freely and shine your light so that you can be seen and recognized but also be protected and living within the plasmic field of consciousness. Feels really good. And then also concentrating now as you have your rainbow bubble again on the center of stillness within you and your undulating golden sphere of light. And breathing into it and on the exhale, allowing it to expand and cultivate subatomically all the atoms within your energetic sphere. Drawing into your heart golden light from source. And allowing it to just expand just to the inside of the rainbow. Oh. 
allowing it to solidify and to become your place, your space of love. And from this place, gently open your eyes and look around at the quality of light within the space that you are in and notice the air and light. Notice the frequency around you. in your bubble. You can stay in this bubble and operate from this bubble. It's good stuff. I invite you to anchor your light twice a day, if not all the time, as much as possible. If you find that you get tired within this process, which right now you may not feel tired, but if you feel that you become tired, I suggest that you relax into this space and ask for the Divine Mother to hold you in her cosmic womb and to rest in it. I also suggest going outside and getting sunlight and practicing this in the sun, breathing in the pranic life force of the solar rays because the channel of cosmic light is coming through our sun onto the planet. So it's an opportunity through that stargate to receive cosmic gamma rays while the ozone is weakened uh, and open to receiving more of that light and the ultraviolet spectrum and the infrared spectrums that are available right now. The other spectrums of light that normally were not available to us in the same way and that have now been available to us. So I highly recommend getting in the sun as much as possible and putting your bare feet on the ground while you do this or sitting on the ground so that you can receive the energy as the conduit through your body in a very powerful piezoelectric way, magnetic electric way, so that you realigned your magnetic field and your electromagnetic frequencies of your body as an electrical being with the sun and the earth. Thank you so much for joining me in that meditation. I appreciate you being here with me so much. And I ask that you share this far and wide so that so many people can benefit from this meditation. Uh, it feels really important that as many of us, star seeds, indigos, light workers, people on the ascension path who are already on it that, and, and know how to anchor the light, that we do this now for the collective so that we can get as much light into the field as possible and that we transmute this darkness not in our bodies but through the field right so that we're not experiencing this darkness within our bodies but we're holding the light to transmute the dark the densities through the field the magnetic light grid of the earth so we strengthen that this way right while we're anchoring our 
conduit this way. So we're doing both. Grounding that energy. Yeah? I love you guys so much. I don't know if anybody's even watching. <laughs>